with a nice little screwdriver to use. Love these ones. A couple of feet. And, you know, the usual power cable. This is a multi-purpose in or out. So you can plug it in right over here. You can use that five volt out and power to power fan or you know, whatever you can think of. And the best part is you can actually use that as a power in instead of the USB power source on the side if you have any type of battery pack or something that you're trying to DIY into it. Came with a HDMI connector for the three and the four. Those are pretty cool. And here is what enables the touch on the three and the four. Same deal, here's the display out, or power in, I'm sorry, not display out. For the three and the four. And there's the power to your Pi. And the touch will go over here. So it ends up being a super clean install. This is going to make an awesome home assistant dashboard. I've already got the HDMI on and the power on. I'm going to be putting the USB touch input on later. Looks like the switch is already flipped up to RPI for Raspberry Pi. So, let's see about doing this here. Screwdriver to help me get it aligned a little better. There it goes. It's working its way in. And now lock down the ribbon cable holder. Okay. Guess we gotta try this with the power removed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line it up and let's put a screw or two to hold it in place. It lines up exactly with the power plug now. You just push it in. Okay. Now for the USB touch. Same type of thing, really just line it up with the bottom USB port and it's already lined up on the other side where it needs to be. Now I always like to have some cooling on my projects, so I'm going to add a little fan hat. By the way, I don't really recommend this specific dual fan hat every time you change a switch to turn the light on or off or the fans on or off, it reboots the entire Pi. screws on the two corners with the standoffs. And that's about it. this set up to auto launch Chrome into full screen so 